us now for a look at your forecast. Hey, Matt. Hey, Joe. It's been kind of rainy out there throughout our entire Sunday. We have a break for a lot of us, though, right now, especially in downtown Fort Smith and for a lot of us in the metros of northwest Arkansas. This is kind of the pattern for the rest of the evening. Scattered showers. You notice there are more towards the south and west, and more where those came from. So we're not done yet. In fact, all of tomorrow, and even in very early on Tuesday, we have more chances for rain to push in. Let's start from north to south. We have a band of rain that just moved out of the metro areas of northwest Arkansas. Still a little bit in Rogers, especially on the east side towards Beaver Lake. Another light shower near uh, Bella Vista on the northwest side of Bentonville. Otherwise, Fayetteville south towards West Fork and Greenland. We're dry at the moment. More rain, though, pushing in just south of Fort Smith. Poto, we're starting to pick up on some of that rain as well. And south towards Hebner and Lake Worcester towards uh, Sebastian County. Greenland, we're starting to get some more of that light rain moving in. Also south on 71 towards Walton and Scott County. We're picking up some of that rain. In the eastern River Valley, it's been raining pretty consistently over the past couple of hours. Clarksville, Paris, Subiaco, uh, Boonville, we've been getting some of that rain. Uh, basically, mainly east of Ozark, that's kind of where this edge of this band has been. If you live east of Ozark, you've been getting some rain for the past couple of hours. We're probably going to continue to have most of the rain towards the south and east of Fort Smith. That's been trending the way it has all day. We'll trend that way tomorrow as well. You're looking live right now in the Bentonville area. Everything's a little wet out there, a lot of low clouds. That's the story of parts of northwest Arkansas. At least temperatures, though, we're not near the freezing mark. So any rain that does come in overnight, even will probably stay as just a cold rain. We have a south wind out there, so temperatures won't really cool that much overnight. Same story in the River Valley. You can notice how wet the streets are in downtown Fort Smith. Look at Garrison Avenue. We're wet. We'll stay wet all night. Temperatures right now in the low 40s, even some upper 30s right now in parts of Logan County, 39 in Boonville, 40 in Clarksville. It'll be a chilly overnight hours, but it won't go towards freezing. We'll stay as rain over the next 24 to 36 hours. But in terms of when we're expecting the most amount of rain, I think everyone has a good chance as we go into early Monday morning. You basically from 6 a.m. until about 10 a.m., probably all of us will be getting rain showers. That includes your drive to work tomorrow, taking the kids to school. It'll be rainy. In the afternoon, kind of have a downtick in terms of the rainfall intensity, mainly more clouds throughout the winter time. You're headed back home from work, but another round comes in late tomorrow night, right around the midnight hour. Here's a look at future casts for the rest of the overnight scattered showers. But notice how later overnight and into early Monday morning, more rounds of rain will move in. So by the time you're waking up, I think most of us will have the rain in our neighborhood. You can see this is 8 a.m. in the morning. Temperatures are in the mid-40s. we will be rainy throughout the entire morning hours and then more rain going into the afternoon. But a little bit less. One more final round moves in late Monday night and into early Tuesday. So we do have two more rounds of rain, but the biggest one comes in the Monday morning time frame. About an inch could be possible for a lot of us with higher totals even towards the south and east. Hartsville, Bloomville, Paris will be closer to that two-inch mark. Some rounds of rain to go throughout our Monday, Monday night. Tuesday, final things start to clear out, and then we have a good warm-up through the middle of the week. Temperatures near 60 degrees on Valentine's Day. I think Valentine's Day, Joe, is going to be the nicest day of the week. And then As it should be. As it should be, that's right. And a week system moves in right over that. Well, that's not too bad. We'll take it, I suppose. Yeah. All right, thank you so much, Matt. Well, happening around the nation, federal investigators.